We are not uploading. Anek reacts to a viral video of staff saying Lagos election results will not be transmitted electronically. Can you imagine? So before this Lagos Anek staff says all of these things, it means that there's an instruction. The same thing that marked the presidential election where they did not allow uh, Anek ground staff to transmit uh, election results from the Pulo unit through the Beavers straight to the RF portal. The same thing, today now they are doing it with impunity that they are not going to upload. That means that they have been told not to upload the result electronically. Can you imagine? So why then the beavers? Why the IRF? How are they going to get the result? Eh? It means that they have planned how they are going to thumbprint and write the result by hand. And then, and then send it send it to, 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 to the INEC. A, a national collection center anyhow they want it that is terrible that is very very terrible and i tell you the presidential election was handled at national level by mahmoud yakubu this one that is state owned is going to be handled by state INEC, and most of the things will be cut short by resident electoral commission at the state level commissioner at the state level yeah I'm telling you, they are just going to report dotted dotted lines to to Mahmoud Yakubu, who will probably announce it officially at national level. But everything will be cooked and done at at a state level. This is bad. The Independent National Electoral Commission has reacted to a viral social media video where one of its ad hoc staff members was heard saying results of the ongoing governorship and state of assembly elections in Lagos State would not be transmitted electronically to the INEC result viewing portal. In the 49 seconds video uh, seen by the Whistler, the ad hoc staff member was heard telling voters that agents of the various political parties are aware of the directive not to upload the result of the election to the RF portal. Can you imagine? So it means they were instructed not to, not to upload it. They want to finish it at state level, conclude it and seal it and stamp it at state level. You see, the female staff uh, staff member said, if you want us to vote, we will vote you now. But if you do not want us to vote, you can go home, stressing that the various political party agents are aware of the development. Responding when the West Whistler sought his reaction to the video, First of Sokoi, INEX National Commissioner for Information and Voter Education, said the ad hoc staff member is not properly informed. How? How can you say it's not properly, it's not properly informed? Eh? Find this by our correspondent indicate that a similar situation was recorded at the Victor Laya Idaosa Agoda polling unit in Surulere, Lagos, where another female staff member stated that the results of the polling unit would not be uploaded to the portal in compliance with INEX regulations and guidelines. She said results will only be uploaded at the rec center where they claimed there is internet network. Can you imagine? So it means that the resident electoral commissioner in the state would have asked them to come back to the state uh, collection center where they will uh, uh, see what is coming and then manipulate it there and before, then, before they were uploaded from there. So that is why they will have the Wi-Fi that they will use to upload it on IREP. They don't want them to connect to internet because there won't be SIM card now. No means of seeing the 4G network from the pulling unit. So it's an instruction. And Faisal Sokoye is talking at the national level, saying that the, the grand staff and next staff was not well informed. How? Is it the grand staff that you should be talking to or you should ask the state resident commissioner what is happening? But they won't do that because it's already a planned done deal. That is what they wanted. Eh? Okoye told the Whistler that the commission is trying to get in touch with the ad hoc staff members involved to correct the misinformation. So that is how bad it is. How can you bypass the state resident uh, electoral commissioner? You want to talk to the grand staff directly. How? Eh? We are trying to get in touch with that ad hoc staff. That staff does not have the necessary information. Results on various polling units must be uploaded from the voting from the voting point, he said. 
Uh, why didn't they do it last time? The Lagos State must have planned something different that they are going to do. And INEC uh, national body cannot tell me they are not aware. All these ones are, are, are gimmicks that are trying to, to, to stage. The Whistler recalls that INEC's failure to transmit the results of the February 25, 2023 presidential election to the RF portal formed a part of the ground for which the Labour Party and People Democratic Party are challenged challenging the outcome of that election. And that is true. Yeah? That is true. One of the things that uh, PDP and Labour Party is challenging concerning the presidential poll was inability or refusal to transmit the, the votes from the uh, polling unit using the BVS to the RF portal. Okay? We understood what happened there. That the INEC chairman and his and his, and ICT staff at national level switched up the server, and people had proof for that. Yeah. Now this time around, they're looking for a way not even transmit at all. The resident electoral commissioner for the Lagos State must have issued instruction to all the grand staff not to upload, or if they, probably they would have even removed all the. Uh, 4G network uh, detection system or the SIM card from all those uh, units, all those P BVS units, and probably ask them to bring the whole thing locally. Eh? How can this be? How can this be? In a country we see we are we are we are growing. We are not growing anywhere. We are growing downwards anyway, not upwards. We are growing downwards. Really growing downwards. This is very very terrible. Absolutely terrible. I don't believe, I can't believe this is happening in this 21st century. Yeah? If not 22nd century, I don't know what to call it again. Yeah? So now, an underground staff, this is exactly what happened during the presidential election, where some of the INEC uh, grand staff did not have their password to log on to the BVS, BVS machine. It was useless in their hand. Yeah? Some of them too said they were instructed not to upload. And so they had the papers, they were just marking, marking, marking up and down. Just like what happened in one of their papa wards, eh? a papa in Lagos, where at the end of the day we saw a video of all the uh, resort sheets that were, that were tampered with, with TPEX. TPEX not writing, TPEX not writing, TPEX not writing. Okay? Until they manipulated the numbers. Quite unfortunate that we're in this kind of situation, in this. Uh, in this North Nigeria, we call giant of Africa. We are, we are ants of Africa, not giant of Africa in anything. And how bad it is that Nigeria is so big that um, whatever that happens in Nigeria determines how the entire Africa is looked at. So Nigeria is having a very bad publicity uh, for Africa, for Nigeria as a country, and for Africa as a continent to the rest of the world. That is how bad it is. Bad publicity. Bad publicity. The violence that took place during the presidential election we thought would be corrected. We've seen the worst of it in this governorship and House of State of Assembly election. The worst of it happened with impunity this time around. And obviously nothing is going to happen. Yeah? All the tribunals, even if, we, uh, like Lagos for instance, even if the Labour Party candidate goes to court, the court will sit in Lagos. The court will be under the control of APC government in Lagos. There will never be justice. No need to waste time. You just to leave them alone to suffer. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.